everybody, it's Justin. I thought I'd give some country twang this time around, um, because that's how I roll. Anyway, so the Lord was saying that <laughs> he was talking about power today. He was talking about power today, and this has like been almost uh, almost a full week of almost a full week of just like him talking about power and just feeling the spirit just really move and and just there's a presence of this absolute power and it's nothing to sneeze at and he said don't be distracted he said that power is coming he said it several times power is coming power is coming power is coming and to not be distracted because <laughs> it's have you ever seen where an elephant will freak out over a mouse, you know, or even if it's cartoons or whatever, you know, because sometimes, you know, we sit there and attribute things to animals that are not really true. Like, uh, we say that ostriches stick their head in the sand and everything, but they actually don't in, in nature. That's what someone thought that they actually did because of, you know, they were off on horizon and therefore looked like they were sticking their heads down in the, in the, in the sand. Uh, but they were, that's not what happened. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, but if you've ever seen that, the the elephant gets distracted, and then they forget that they're an elephant. And all they gotta do is just squish the thing, if they wanted to, you know? It's like, oh my god, what is that, you know? Um, <laughs> I think that same thing happens with, with us as people, too. So, like, for example, I am not a fan of bugs. No. No bugs for me. No. That's a big old scoop of no. No bugs for me. So, I don't like them. I don't appreciate them. Can't deal with them. So, and, but I forget a lot of times in that state of fear and distraction. They're like, oh my god, they're buzzing around my face. And I hate it when that happens. I, I mean, one that's on ground, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. But one that's like flying around in it. No. 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 <laughs> just a big old scoop two scoops of no and I get so distracted by what I don't want to happen to me like I don't want them on me I do not want the bugs on me whatever the bug is I do not want it on me I don't want it flying in my ear or whatever you know I don't want to crawl on me I do not want a bug on me no no and in that moment of what I don't want to happen, I forget like who I am almost entirely. I freak out, I'm like, Ugh! and I start swatting over the place and everything. You know, what is that? You know, and and and, and I and I kind of freak out. You know, I don't like them. I can deal with them a little bit, especially when the wasps started crawling into my skyline in my very first apartment, and I had to take a vacuum and suck them out of the window, you know? So I began to establish a tolerance for things like wasps and some other bugs or whatever, you know? Um, because I had no choice because these wasps were flying around in my apartment like a bunch until the maintenance people came to get rid of them. So that was terrifying for me, it, and it genuinely was terrifying for me. Because I'd been stung as a kid and I didn't want that to happen again. So I was so freaked out, you know? I just lost all sense of who I was and lost all my mental faculties and everything, you know, and just fear just gripped me like you just wouldn't believe. But, but, what I began to realize that when I calmed down and when I began to, you know, take out that first wasp, you know, I began to realize it's like, oh, okay, that, that was horrible. Then I had to get rid of another one. It's like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I took care of that one in the same way. And then I began to, understand that I have power in this situation and when I understood that I had power in this situation and was distracted by the fact that you know what I didn't want the wasps to do I got more focused in on what I was going to do to the wasps right so this is when you know I was like they were just pouring into my skyline almost you know like they were trying to set up a hive there you know and so I had gotten I had gotten used to you know uh, taking them out so I just took a vacuum cleaner you know what I'm saying and I would, uh, took the hose and I sucked them all up, you know, and uh, and uh, if someone got kind of close to me, you know what I'm saying, I'd go ahead and react quickly and then suck up that one too. 
So I had to deal with it. And so I did deal with it. And once I was, once the fear left me, I knew that I had power. And when I knew that I had power, that's when I was on the offensive rather than being on the defensive. Right? So the Lord is saying there's power. You've got power. There's power coming. Don't be distracted. Don't sit there and think that your problem, your issue, or your whatever it is, is so big that you cannot overcome it. You can. You can overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. He does not make you weak. He makes you strong because he is with you and in you. That's the source of the strength right there. And there's some practical things that you need to do in order to get good and not being afraid of the dog on time. There's some practical things that you need to stop doing in order to actually get good so you can go ahead and move forward with the power and the purpose that God's giving you. you Got to get good at these things that you're not good at yet. If you're nervous about talking to people and everything, you know, well, go out and talk to people. Be terrified, be scared, but then eventually when you go ahead and go for it, you're going to figure out that you have power the more that you do it. It's just like video games, y'all. No one's scared to play a video game because it's safe, it's contained and everything else, you know. But eventually what happens is that the game that you sucked at, you start to get good at. And then you take on more and more and more challenge because that's what the game requires of you. It requires for you to learn and to gain in skill. And once you gain the skill, you can go ahead and begin to the process of beating the game. That's all that life is. It's the exact same thing. You got to get good. <laughs> you got to get good. So whatever it is that you think is, well, I'm not that kind of person. Shush. You just had to practice. Because you let fear grip you for too long. Start doing the things, and you'll have the power. And you will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. You know? So, just want you guys to really hear what the Lord is saying. Power is coming. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Okay, that's my time, I believe. And I'm going to speak a declaration over you guys. I declare in the name of Jesus that... You're going to, that you are getting better in your weaknesses. And that you are overcoming in the spirit of Christ. And that the new creation that he spoke about, that is manifest even now. And that your rest is in the new man. In what he has done on the cross and created in this new man that you are i speak these things and declare these things over you in the name of jesus and we thank you lord god um amen all right guys that's my time links are in the description right now and I have an exciting announcement is that i have finished my game it's out it's in the store and super excited about that but I want it on Steam, so I want to keep on plowing, plowing ahead, and I want it to be a bigger release. So I'm kind of keeping it quiet right now, but if you want to uh, www.justinfoxmedia.com, then you'll be able to see, and I'll put a link in the description below as well. Actually, the link's already in the description below, so you can go ahead and buy it there if you like. So I'm a published game author. Yay! All right, guys. <laughs> Loves and hugs, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you once again to my Patreon supporters. It means so much to me. Just look at them. Just look at these people. Just look at it.